They call us liars. They call us mentally diseased. They tear our families from us. They threaten those of us who are on the inside. They persecute those who are on the outside. They say that our speech is gangrenous. They urge our friends and family to feel a loathing for us. They say we are destined to die at Armageddon. They call us apostates. And they use hate speech to instill fear in anyone who would dare to follow us. For decades, the Washtar Society has stigmatized and ostracized any Jehovah's Witness who would dare disagree with its teaching. Even if a member of the governing body should leave, they say he is an apostate too. Don't read his books. Pretend he never existed. Witnesses can't comment on our blogs. Jehovah's Witnesses are forbidden from visiting our websites, and if they can help it, well, Jehovah's Witnesses are forbidden from viewing us on the nightly news. <laughs> Does that strike you as normal? The Watchtower leaders, the governing body, say there is absolutely nothing to prevent us from leaving. There's no chains on anybody in our kingdom halls and assembly halls. We're not chaining anybody. If they want their ears tickled, there's churches galore out there. Nothing could be further from the truth. If there's no chains on witnesses, then why are family members told to shun those who leave? Why did the January 15th Watchtower tell family members to not even email those who are disfellowshipped? Their chains are fear and paranoia. Their chains are separation and rejection. Their chains are the punishments for being disloyal to their precious organization. Watchtower Corporation is scared of you knowing the truth. The answers are right there in the Watchtower literature, but they don't want you to see. You will read what they want you to read. You will hear what they want you to hear. And you will speak with whom they wish for you to speak with. You will never know the truth, not if it conflicts with what they think the truth should be. But things are slowly changing. In this new information age, it is getting more and more difficult to conceal the truth from those that are not afraid to search for it. The internet has made it impossible for the Watchtower to keep its secrets from anyone who dares to look for the answers. More of us are rising up, telling our stories, sharing what we know, and learning from each other. More and more of us are finding out that even though our families deserted us, we are truly not alone. We're all in this together. We've got each other's backs. There are many of us, and we all have different stories to tell. We don't all share the same beliefs. I'm an atheist. I'm a Christian. I'm an agnostic. I am a thinker. I am a human being. I am a non-believer. But it doesn't matter. We're all united because we are mentally free. We've seen the organization for what it truly is. Just one more in a long line of damaging cults. Scientology, Moonies, Mormons. The exclusive brethren, Jehovah's Witnesses, they're all the same in that they hide what they truly are. And don't let you leave without consequences. People say, why can't you just move on? Why are you so bitter and angry? You know what? We are bitter and we are angry. You know, you would be angry too. If you knew that a cult kept your family hostage and used manipulating mind control to, to turn them against you? We are angry because we care. We're angry because we love those still inside and we miss them. That's how we feel and, and that's why we're hurting. Sometimes the hurt boils over into anger and into rage. Sometimes we ran to say things we regret. Other times we find a productive way to channel our pain. We try to free the minds of brainwashed witnesses in whatever way we can. We're doing our very best to reach out by using our voices. Some of us write blogs. Some of us take surveys. Some of us hold demonstrations. Some of us make goofy videos. We, we do whatever we can to get the message across. Until now, we've mostly been doing it alone, as individuals. Which is fine. It works. But some of us thinks 
that it's about time that we get organized. About time we presented a united front. A new organization has been legally formed. And it's called the Association of Anti-Watchtower Activists. Or AWA for short. The aim of this organization isn't to spread any religious message or to preach to anyone. It's simply to raise awareness of the society's cruel policies and to help thinking witnesses in their efforts to break free from mind control. AWA will speak to the media. AWA will speak at conferences. It will engage local communities. It will empower those of us who want to make a difference by bringing everyone together and pooling our skills and resources. We need translators, support workers, writers, web designers, speakers, researchers, organizers, leaders. AWA will connect all of these people so that they can come together and do what needs to be done. And let the world know what Watchtower Corporation is really up to. AWA doesn't hate Jehovah's Witnesses. It only wants the best for them. If you're a witness, don't worry. AWA has no issue with you. It has issue with the organization that has spent decades lying to its members. And raising false hopes through its failed expectations. An organization that would rather risk putting children into the arms of pedophiles then let the police investigate all accusations of child abuse. An organisation that has crippled the dreams of generations of promising students by denying them higher education. An organisation that would rather an abused wife take a beating and stay married than allow her to divorce and move on. An organisation that believes it's better for someone to die in a hospital bed than for him to receive a blood transfusion that would help him enjoy more of this beautiful thing called life. AWA accepts donations for its campaign work. But its officers make no profits, and they share what is done with the money with any who wish to donate. AWA is more interested in gathering volunteers and activists than collecting money. AWA's founders are spread across three different continents. They vary in age, and they are male and female. They are all passionate about exposing the Watchtower. Through respectful and well-informed activism. They are all determined to succeed, and Watchtower cannot silence them, no matter how hard it may try in the months and years ahead. You see, if you're a witness, you have a choice. You can carry on in your dream world pretending it's the truth, or you can have the courage to wake up and do some objective research. You owe it to yourself to know what's really going on. Give yourself permission to learn more. Finding out your efforts in serving the Watchtower Society were a complete waste of time is a hard thing to swallow. But it is better than spending the rest of your life living an illusion because you don't know anything else. Dare to be different. Challenge yourself to look behind the curtain. Make the leap and join the wonders of reality with the rest of humanity. You don't have to support AWA or even agree with what it's doing, but it will be there nonetheless. For all thinking witnesses. The silent majority. It will be a face for the faceless. It will be a voice for the voiceless. And it will not give up until the Watchtower ends its cruel and damaging policies. Even when that finally happens, under whatever circumstances, AWA will still be there in the rebuilding process. Offering a helping hand to all those suffering the consequences of years of mental and emotional abuse. We are anti-Watchtower activists, and we are united. There are many of us, and we are no longer afraid. The truth is on our side. The truth has set us free. We will no longer be bound by their chains. No. We are watching. We are speaking. We are doing. Talk to you later.